Welcome back in the Tech Dev Studio and the overview of TDS Hero plugin. So this is a, actually a Hero plugin. Why? If you use this plugin, it will be basically fix your ad mob updated SD issue whenever you try to upload your game on Google Play Store. It will be show you maybe that you need to have older version of SDK blah blah stuff. So if you use this plugin, it's going to be fixed that. If you have the billing issue like loss of user face this problem that Unreal Engine billing version is older than the current version which Google support. So at that time you can use this plugin and it will be going to fix your billing issue also and there's a one more issue coming in 2000 uh in, in this year that is basically the android 12 support issue like your game is basically crashing if you're trying to upload your game in google Play Store, it's saying that you need to upload atlas android 12 support so you don't know you watch lots of tutorials video you, you need to you know do lots of stuff with the griddle and other stuff so at there you can use this plugin that android 12 support fixer so it will be going to also fix your that issue also it's come with some external and more uh features that it's have the basically the graphic system uh blueprint code so it's mean that with the running this three blueprints code you can basically switch your game graphics to high low and you know yeah it's have the low max and high that is the ultra graphics and also it's have for developers it's have the message disable uh, blueprint code and message enable blueprint course it's have basically uh, it can be change your game config also even it's have one more feature that is basically game performance utilizer to show like if you want to check your game what is the basically performance thing it will be also going to do that to also it's also going to show that too so before going to start the tutorials that how you need to use that i'm going to uh, show you that our discord group so you can join our tech dev studio discord group there's a lots of members still available so you find in the main section you find all about our updates and in the about section i still didn't write anything but yeah it's going to be update as soon as and at the ask for help you can ask lots of questions with each other there will be a lots of helpy and friendly member available so you can ask them about help if you can if i am able to also to give you the replies and other stuff so yeah you can join this group and in the plugin verification you can verify your plugins and here you can get your plugin supports and yeah so let's get started so first thing if you go to this month that on the free at here you find the tds hero plugin now under the tds hero plugin you need to simply click on the claim or to click on free and as you can see it's support that linux ios android Windows 32 bit, then Oculus VR, then Mac OS, then others, and even it supports the Windows 64 bit. So, yeah, it's meaning that it's going to be supposed to lots of stuff. And also, I'll be happy if you give a review, okay, because your reviews basically help lots of this plugin to, you know, make it best plugin it's because it's a free and it have lots of features. So, I recommend to give a review also. And now, it supports for now the 5.1 and the 5.2 which is the last unreal engine version and here you find some description about what is the basically the going on and here you find the all the blueprint codes what's basically it's have at here you find the number of blueprint class how much it's have in the documentation you find a basic documentation about what's about the plugin and what is basically like so once you press the like something like this on the link you find that your epic will be launch you in a website it will be ask you to continue you just need to press that continue with external website so it will be basically going to update and send you our website page and we are going to update that as soon as possible we are going to we already have our own horse and other stuff drop in so we are going to very quickly we are going to switch on that so here you find the basics about the plugins what's basically it's are okay we already learned what's about it now let's create a first a simple project so and i'm using currently the 5.2 even you can use the 5.0 also there's an issue and i'm going to simply create a project so in this project we are basically going to so i'm going to show you as pos as much as possible about the plugin okay so here's the project now you can close this project and go to epic and now here you find the engine install at here it will be ask you that which engine version you want to install so you can see that it's for available for 5.1 and 5.2 i'm going to install for 5.2 and simply click on install once this thing done it will be going to basically compile the codes and it will be going to add the plugins in your unreal engine make sure and i recommend that whenever you're trying to install a plugin in your engine 
please disable your Unreal Engine because some of cases it's going to be a uh, glitch or it can be crash your engine. So I recommend that whenever you are trying to add a plugin, not an asset, but you are trying to add a plugin because the plugin is basically contained with the binary files with the Unreal Engine. So it's better if you close your Unreal Engine and install your plugins and all the stuff. And once it's done, then you basically reopen your project. So as you can see, it's a 43 MB uh, plugin that is too low and then once it's installed now we are able to open our project so here our project simply just open and once you open now what you need to do is you need to just simply go to the plugins and i will need to go to others here you find the tds hero plugin and you find our website and other stuff so simply click on enable the plugin and click on restart the plugin so now it's basically set up in all the stuff, whatever it's need. And now you have a question, bro, how we can access the SDK? Like you said that in this, that we are going to find the admo updated SDK, billing updated SDK and Android 12 supported. How will find that stuff? So that is basically once ever you enable plugin, the system has been already executed now. You even don't need to do anything if you facing that three problem that the billing issue, the uh, and the 12 upload issue, and even if what's uh, if if it's a version like the billing version or SDK version of Google, there's a no issue. Just once, whenever you are basically enable this plugin in your project, it's going to it's already update that system. So now you know, don't need to worry about that, bro. How it's going to be work? Okay, like this three thing, you it automatically comes with the plugin. So whenever you install the plugin and enable that plugin in your project, it already set up it's done so even if you want you can give export and it will going to be upload that in if you upload that in right now in a google it going to be support without any error okay then now let me show you the others external blueprints code that it it's have so you need to go to uh, all level blueprints class even you can go anywhere like in your actor class even in your ui doesn't matter then you need to search that tds and here you find our all the plugins that is tds game config setter performance sure so let me uh go with the performance sure so what this thing it's going to be enable your utilities and fps and other stuff so you can connect with a big and play something like this and compile and save now suppose you want to check that how much is uh, you you know you want to check your game statics like how much gpu it's using cpu it's using how much ms it's have you need to check the fps you don't write your command line simply just use these lines of code like you need to just write write you need to just write these lines of code that tds game performance sure so then it will be basically show now if you click on play as you can see the right side you will be automatically get the all the information about your project your fps your ms and your game frame and your gpu times and your prints draw calls you find everything at in with one blueprint scores uh one blueprint code now suppose you want to uh every you add something like this a print string okay now even you you write something like this kind of like print string loss of in your everywhere like you add lots of stuff in your everywhere you don't know even where is that messaging coming from or this string so now you want to disable your this string message so what you can do you can use our tds message hider or disabler so it's going to basically basically disable your all print string even if it's working out even that print string will be work but it will be going to be basically disable that all the necessary steps so as you can see even it's working but it will be never show that string and other stuff at here but suppose you want to now enable so how if you want to enable so what you can do you can again write cd uh, tds and here you find the message shower so is this with this blueprint code it going to be active your the show system so now it will be basically if you click on play and as you can see uh okay let me because it's this time it's activated so as you can see the hello is world is placing because the system has been executed okay now suppose you want to if i search now i'm going to show you that the uh, number uh like there's a graphics mode system available suppose you want to change your game graphics like low medium and high like whatever big games give now you don't write to you know you don't know how to control that so this is the blueprint code so you need to just run this blueprint code it's going to be change your game graphics so i'm going to show you the all the three blueprint scores and make sure that is one is available for the mobile and one is available for the pc so the in the pc section you can it's basically going to be support for 
Mac and Windows and Xbox you can say the console stuff and the Windows stuff so I set up already with that bloom because that the, you know depends on the specification so it is better if you use the mobile blueprint codes in the mobile section and use the PC code in the PC section okay so because this is right now a PC project so I'm going to use my TDS a uh, PC uh, high graphics and low graphics and medium graphics so TDS and here that is the low let me show you the first the low one like how the low one is basically going to be work compile and save now you can click on play so as you can see you you already maybe see the change already okay as you can see it's going to be some blur in the long instance you don't even see your shadow and your game program has been boosted up already okay so that is basically in the low graphics now suppose you want to make that in a high graphics or medium graphics so you can search that tds and here you find the high and low and max so i'm going to switch it to high so you can use that in the ui section you can add some button for low high and medium and there you can simply click on play and as you can see we have now the high graphics right now in our game now suppose you want the maximum graphics for your game so you need to simply connect with the max one so tds and tds and here you find the max graphic system and you need to simply connect that compile and save now if you click on play now you are basically achieving the most highest and realistic graphics as possible for the you know project right now with just with running this simple blueprint code so that's why we use plugins that is going to be make your life heaven nothing else okay and the last blueprint code that is the tds configure that is basically one is this sdk initializer so i recommend to use this one whenever if you're trying to you can use that in your game open or your game instance or your game mode okay that is the google sdk initializer some of cases the sdk has been failed to load so i recommend if you are using you can run this that tds google uh, sdk initializer it's going to be help you loss and then you find that tds that is the config uh, manager or the configure so this is going to be make your system change okay not your project uh, not your you know your operating system is going to be changed your project settings so with that blue uh, booleans you can basically set it to low high and max config even if you with this uh, graphics you can do that but there's a some more system available for the make your project more lighter or make it higher and stuff so for that you can basically switch it to this one so with that activation you can basically do whatever you want so you can make an array basically so you can make a little boolean something like that and you can connect for example i want uh, my high and max and yeah i want my high and max and default to false so i'm going to use my low graphic so we can use something like this that low one equals to true and then if it's active i'm going to get a print string from here that it's activated so if it's activated or not i'm going to connect something like this and now compile and save now if i click on the play section and now it's basically changed my graphic system to low end stuff so it's going to be set up for the more low end okay and then if i switch to this thing uh to max graphics so the suppose i'm going to choose it to max and i'm setting the others to uh false and compile save and i'm going to click on play and now it's set up to maximum graphics for my project system okay this is also basically uh, relative with the graphic system so uh, it's not mandatory to use but it's basically going to change your configuration of your project so that's all and that is the basically overview of this plugin and i hope you'll be use that and if it's work for you i hope you'll be leave a review so thanks so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in next tutorial video